Welcome to the World Pulse Update. Bringing you the latest news from around the world. Imagine the world getting smaller, not by magic, but by machine. A new aircraft has just redrawn the map of long-haul travel, completing a flight that was once the exclusive domain of Western aviation giants. The skies, long dominated by Boeing and Airbus, are now witnessing the arrival of a formidable new player. On November 12, 2025, the Comac C929, China's first domestically produced widebody jet, completed a non-stop 12,000-kilometer flight from Shanghai to Lagos, Nigeria. This journey wasn't just a technical feat, it was a bold statement of China's growing industrial and technological power. For decades, the global aviation market was a duopoly. Now, a third major competitor has proven itself on the world stage. The C929 is the crown jewel of China's Made in China 2025 initiative, aiming to move the country up the value chain from low-cost goods to high-tech manufacturing. Its successful flight is a moment of national pride for Beijing and a wake-up call for competitors in Seattle and Toulouse. China is no longer content to assemble products designed elsewhere. It's now designing and building the complex machines that drive global commerce. The implications reach far beyond aviation, touching geopolitics, global supply chains, and the future of international competition. The game has changed. The 12,000-kilometer journey from Shanghai to Lagos was meticulously planned. The C929's ability to complete this mission signals its entry into the lucrative long-range market, directly challenging Boeing and Airbus. The flight path crossed Asia, the Middle East, and Central Africa, testing the aircraft's reliability in diverse conditions. On board, over 30 engineers and technicians monitored thousands of parameters in real time, gathering critical data for certification. The choice of Lagos as the destination was symbolic, highlighting China's Belt and Road Initiative and its deepening ties with Africa. Nigeria is one of China's largest trading partners in Africa, and its aviation market is set to boom in the coming decades. By making Lagos the destination, China is sending a message, we're not just building your infrastructure, we're building the planes that connect you to the world. For the global aviation community, the C929's success moves it from theory to reality. Airlines in Asia, Africa, and Latin America now have a viable alternative for long-haul fleet renewal. The Shanghai Lagos flight is the opening salvo in a new battle for the skies. The Comac C929 is a twin-engine, wide-body jet designed to carry up to 320 passengers, with a range of 12,000 kilometers. Initially a joint venture with Russia, the project is now predominantly Chinese-led, reflecting Beijing's drive for technological independence. Over half the airframe is made from advanced composites, a leap for China's manufacturing capabilities. The engines remain a challenge. Current models use Western-made engines, but China is investing heavily in developing its own. For China, the C929 is about more than aviation, it's about national security and economic independence. A successful program keeps billions within China, creates high-skilled jobs, and insulates the country from potential sanctions. The C929 also drives innovation across industries, from avionics to advanced materials, pulling the entire industrial base up the value chain. It's not just an airplane, it's a national R&D platform. The C929 positions China for leadership in the 21st century economy. The global commercial aircraft market is worth over $150 billion annually, long split between Boeing and Airbus. Comax entry with the C929 is a direct challenge to this duopoly. China aims to capture a third of its domestic wide-body market and 10% globally by 2040. A seismic shift if achieved. The Shanghai Lagos route maps China's strategic priorities, connecting its financial hub to Africa's economic heart, bypassing traditional Western transit points. Expect more C929 routes linking China with Southeast Asia, South America, and Central Asia, often flown by national carriers with Chinese financing. The real test will be orders from major independent carriers outside China's sphere. A big order from a respected international airline would be a major blow to Boeing and Airbus. The C929 supply chain still relies on Western suppliers for critical systems, but China's long-term goal is full self-sufficiency. This process, Sinicization, aims to create a fully independent aerospace industry. The battle for the skies will be fought airline by airline, order by order. 
the global aviation landscape is being redrawn. COMAC's rise is a story of patient, state-driven strategy, contrasting with the market-driven histories of Boeing and Airbus. Boeing and Airbus built their dominance through decades of innovation, global supply chains, and hard-won trust. China's approach leverages massive state subsidies, guaranteed domestic orders, and a protected home market. This allows COMAC to absorb huge development costs and plan for the long term, free from shareholder pressure. The C929 is built not just for profit, but for national strategy. Yet Western manufacturers still hold key advantages, especially trust. Airlines need confidence in long-term support, spare parts, and training, areas where Boeing and Airbus have a deep, established moat. Certification is another hurdle. FAA and ESA approvals are the global gold standard, and without them, the C929's market is limited. Gaining Western certification is a rigorous, politically charged process. For now, this regulatory barrier is the Western duopoly's strongest defense, but the landscape is shifting. COMAC is building its support network and pushing for global acceptance. The race is on. Washington and Brussels have responded to the C929's flight with cautious public statements and private concern. Officially they welcome fair competition but stress the need for a level playing field, a clear reference to China's state subsidies. Behind the scenes industry analysts warn that China's state-led model poses a long-term threat to Western aerospace leadership. Boeing and Airbus publicly tout their technological edge and global service networks, but privately, they're accelerating R&D and lobbying for tougher trade enforcement. Both are reassessing their supply chains, wary of reliance on Chinese components. The C929's flight has forced a strategic reassessment across the industry. Airlines and suppliers are watching closely, weighing the risks and opportunities of a new competitor. The pressure is on for Western giants to innovate faster and protect their market share. The stakes have never been higher. The C929's emergence has turned aviation into a new front for geopolitical competition, with policy as the main weapon. In Washington, options range from WTO cases against Chinese subsidies to targeted export controls on key technologies. But aggressive measures risk hurting Western suppliers, who depend on Chinese business, creating a delicate balancing act. Some advocate for massive public investment in R&D to out-innovate China focusing on next-gen technologies like hydrogen flight and AI-driven avionics. Certification will be a key battleground, FAA and ESA face pressure to maintain safety standards without appearing protectionist. A likely outcome, a long, drawn-out validation process for the C929, delaying its entry into Western markets. This buys time for Boeing and Airbus to strengthen their positions. The policy chess game is just beginning. The outcome will shape the future of global aviation. The skies are now a geopolitical arena. The C929's impact goes far beyond COMAC's balance sheet. It threatens to shift a global supply chain that's centered on North America and Europe for decades. Western suppliers now face a dilemma transfer technology to stay in the Chinese market or risk being shut out entirely. For airlines, a third major player could mean lower prices and better terms, especially for developing nations but they must weigh lower purchase costs against long-term operating expenses and uncertain resale value. The ripple effect extends to financial markets. Boeing, Airbus and their suppliers are industrial bellwethers, and the C929's rise adds new volatility. Investors now face heightened geopolitical and competitive risk. The long-term value of Western aerospace giants depends on how they respond to this state-backed challenge. The global supply chain is being rewritten. The 12,000-kilometer flight of the COMAX C929 is more than a technical milestone. It's a turning point in the global economy. China has arrived as a serious contender in one of the world's most complex and strategic industries. This achievement is the result of a deliberate, well-funded national strategy for technological self-reliance. The Western response is a mix of concern and confidence, but complacency is no longer an option. The C929's journey will reshape supply chains, airline negotiations and the geopolitics of trade and technology. The era of the comfortable duopoly is over. A new, more competitive chapter in aviation has begun. The question now, will the skies become a domain of open competition, or another arena for great power rivalry? The future of global aviation is being written, one flight at a time.